I'm just so fed up. In this video today, guys, we're going to be reviewing Married at First Sight, Season 12, Episode 10. Now, we're going to kick off straight away with Chris and Paige. And in this week's episode, we saw that once again, Chris had come with his should order couldas about Bible study that he did not prep for. The mockery of, you know, Bible study and this and that and just using God as a way to manipulate and control this woman is just disgusting. And I am so fed up. And I don't know, comment below if you feel as fed up as me when it comes to talking about Chris. But I have committed to reviewing this show right the way to the end. Now this week we saw that Chris, he's not been contactable. Paige has been the one initiating and trying to reach out to him. And this guy is just taking the mickey. He has no interest, desire, want, anything to do with Paige and is blatantly obvious. And this guy is representing Christ on TV. Like, I, I know we're not here to hold people to a higher standard than we hold ourselves. We are all human. We're all fallible. But what I have just seen play out is just this misuse and abuse of Bible study, God, man of God, Christianity. Like, it's just been a whole mess. He had a sit down with Paige and Dr. Viviana. And in my honest opinion, I feel like Ayana Van Sant should have been the person sitting down with this guy because she would have just given it to him real. Just come in and say, Chris, this is the foolishness I see. This is the abusive, aggressive, manipulative, controlling, all those things that I have also noticed. And let's cut out all the BS because this is what we're dealing with. It's not a God thing. It's not I'm confused. It's actually I don't want to be in this. I've realized that the girl I had before is better looking and I made a mistake coming on this show. Like whatever it is, just cut down the foolishness. And that is where I think Dr. Viviana, and this is not to knock Dr. Viviana as a therapist and everything else. This is just to say everybody's approach is different. And I felt like the approach needed a lot more firmness and it needed a lot more directness. That would have been my approach. Dr. Viviana is very like, Hey, Chris, like what's going on? And I was just like, no, this is not the right approach with this kind of guy. You need to be much more, no fun and games, no smiling, you know, skin and teeth. Cause you're dealing with someone who is a manipulator, who is, whether he knows it or not, actually emotionally abusive and psychologically abusive. Now, again, we only see the edited version. And guys, if you haven't seen it, check out the episode. So yeah, I wasn't impressed, guys, with the sit down with Dr. Viviana. Still, I'm glad that she said to Paige directly, why are you staying in this marriage? And Paige's response of, you know, God's made me to be this supportive wife. And I get it. She believes in the vows she's taken. I think the concern here is that only a week ago, this guy brought his ex fiance, mother of his child to be on a show to tell you deuces. So that is the challenge of how we went from there to restart to this. It is just, yeah, it's so, it's, it's sad. And I, I know that this is because she's in a cycle of even may be used to actually settling for less than she deserves. <sighs> I think Paige by this point knows her marriage is over and it's very clear to see that Chris knows his marriage never got started. Um, he had no intention of seeing this marriage through. Chris then, who can't commit to giving a phone call each day to his wife, but he can commit to, yeah, like, let's hang out and do this. Like, this guy is just mocking the whole process. It's just so sad to see the representation of Christians live and direct on a show like this because it's just like, wow, the, not, not Paige. This is directed at Chris. It's like the mockery. It's so sad to see just even the term of I'm a Christian it gets people so plugged into just believing that they're a good person because they say they're Christian. It's not true. It's pants. 
it's like look at this guy he can barely pray every single time you ask him my guy can't even really do prayer one prayer we've seen him do it was like bish bash amen it it's sad that just through saying the word i am a christian or i'm a man of god or i believe in this people get so consumed into really believing that people are just that it's just so sad to see how as women we would be willing to settle for crumbs even like the smallest crumbs of a phone call this is how deep it gets when you're settling for crumbs because what you start to do is you start to change your language you start to lessen your own standards you start to like literally be willing to accept the littlest of time and attention from this person and we see here that Paige has gone down this route of saying you know we need to think about how we can maintain some type of friendship and you know now she's not even talking about a marriage she's talking about a friendship and a situationship and how these things slip into other ship words it's just sad it's sad to see and it's not about Paige it's more about like thinking about how us as women need to be very careful that we don't find ourselves doing this. And that's where I'm like, hell no. If that person is not willing to have a relationship with you where that's where it started, that was the level it was always set at, and they wanna drop it down to just this friendship where you can take the crumbs, I'm just like, I'm out. Like, let's go and look for the things we really want. Let's not waste time. I know every situation is different, so I can't make this a blanket stance, but in a scenario like this, where the guy is really saying, I don't want you, and I don't want this relationship, and I'm even ready to show you that I've got other options, and you would rather try and have this amicable friendship just so that you could have some access to him still. I'm anti that. One of the things he did that really just was like, Dr. Viviana, wake up. This is what he's trying to do. And I know she understood it. I think Dr. Viviana saw it because you see here the confusion on her face. And then Chris just spun his nice little mind game web of, I'm confused. What are you confused about? Nothing. And you see Dr. Viviana's face go very puzzled very quickly and she turns to Paige to look at like, and Paige is like, yep, yeah, this is what happens. This is the confusion that he starts putting out there, making us all feel like, whoa, now we're confused because there's nothing that confusing about this. And that is where, again, I believe you as the therapist need to be able to say, hold on, what I'm observing happen here, what I think might be going on, is actually you use confusion to also manipulate and control the process of not really ever having to give a response or an account or a definitive answer. So instead of holding him accountable, we see Dr. Viviana kind of just not really directly address it. And again, it's an edited version. So again, she may have, she may not have. But when I saw that playing out again, I just thought this would have been a perfect time to say, yes, thank you for doing that, Chris. Because again, this is a pattern I've noticed you do throughout filming, whereby actually when you're being held accountable or when someone's trying to ask you for a definitive answer, you act out this state of confusion. This is what we call work brain. When someone's trying to work brain like that, you just need to cut through the nonsense and deal with what you're seeing. I haven't really seen Pastor Cal hold this guy accountable. And now I've seen Dr. Viviana give her statement. I'm just like, yeah, this is why Chris can run amok on this show. Paige blamed herself for not being there for Chris in his time of need when he got this information about his baby. She was like, I am negligent. I was negligent and not, you know, there for you in the way you needed. Oh my gosh. Help me. Oh, it is so sad to see that this is how the cycle of manipulation, abuse, um, always happens that the self-blame kicks in and people take ownership for the other person's bad actions. And this 
was a perfect example. Paige does this great confession to Chris of how negligent she's been as a wife and, you know, in not supporting him enough in that time of need when he learned about his baby and everything else. And I was just like, wow, these therapists, these experts can't see this pattern of manipulation, of abuse, the the cycle of abuse playing out, the power and control wheel. I've done so many different videos, guys, that you can check out here and here. Oh my God, I, I just wanted to say, stop, stop filming now. Like this is, this is too much. So if you are in Paige's scenario and you find yourself blaming yourself for the actions of a whatless man, <laughs> and you are now almost seeking forgiveness from them, you need to, need to, need to just Go and talk with someone else. Go and see a therapist. Go and really just make sure. Get a second opinion before you start doing these confessions because it's so easy in this cycle of abuse and manipulation and when you're under that kind of power and control from someone else to really beat yourself up and really believe that you are the problem and you're not. Hi guys, so I very quickly forgot to say that Chris goes, I need to let you know that I bought my, the mother of my child, brand new Mercedes Benz. Now, me personally, I do not believe that gift was all about his child. I believe that was his little way of getting back in there with his ex fiance for the shame and the embarrassment that he has caused her. So I'm just gonna gift you an item. And that is how he's gonna worm his way right back into her arms. Remember to hit that like button and the subscribe and the bell so you never miss another video each and every time I upload. Take care guys and God bless. Bye.